Point Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, a few changes on the way for tomorrow, and I think they will be changes that you will like. Let's talk about what I'm tracking. So you might be asking, why will it be a better Sunday, Pete? And I really appreciate the, appreciate the questions. So let me uh, answer that right now. And we're going to talk about less wind, so that will make it feel a bit more comfortable, even though actual temperatures will be similar. We will also get more sunshine. A fair amount of clouds out there today, especially early. Not the case tomorrow. A lot of blue sky will be around. Now, our Monday to start the work week, the daytime, looks dry. It's at night and probably not until late 10 or 11 p.m. where the rain will start to arrive. So Monday ends up being OK. And then Tuesday morning, we could see some trouble with the morning commute. We're talking about the potential of heavy rain. We need to watch this. It's too early to say that flooding is likely or it's unlikely, but certainly the potential is there as a fair amount of moisture looks like it's pointed right at southern New England. Taking a look at the capital city right now, temperature 41 in Providence, Gloucester 37, Westerly 42, New Bedford 42. Now, typically or not typically, often winds will calm down a lot overnight. You could see that happening right now in Westerly at three miles an hour. Checking on the wind speeds at TF Green, still a little bit busy out of the northwest at nine miles an hour. I don't see winds completely turning off tonight, but they will really start to subside by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 not showing precipitation to track, and we don't have any precipitation precipitation in the forecast for tomorrow. We'll have high pressure pushing in those dry skies. You can already see the absence of clouds starting to develop over southern New England. That trend keeps up for tomorrow. Now temperature wise again, it's similar to what we had today, but it's brighter, so more time the sunglasses will be needed and also the winds will be you know, present, but not as bad. 5 to 15 miles an hour today. They were gusting between 25 and 30 for a good part of the afternoon. High temperatures by location. I'm not expecting a huge difference for the early afternoon. Uh, this is late afternoon, and although for much of the day we get that land breeze, by late afternoon we may get a little bit of a southerly tilt to the winds, cooling off places like Newport, Jamestown, Westerly, just a bit, but almost everybody should make it into the mid 50s for tomorrow. And then as we look at that seven day future cast, you could see it's pleasant for Monday, 57 degrees, increasing clouds. The breezes will also start to increase, and then it's late Monday night where the rain starts to move in. Now, Tuesday morning, some of that rain could be heavy. That's why we're keeping an eye on the Tuesday morning commute. Currently, the computer models are spitting out amounts like 1, 1.5 inches, and you get that in a few hours. Yeah, you can get some ponding on the roadways and even problems on some of those smaller streams. So it's just something we'll monitor over the next 48 hours as we look at more data. As we go to Wednesday, it's not so bad. 54 degrees, a little cooler and breezy. And then towards the end of the week, temperatures staying there in the 50s, even 60 by Friday with a chance of a shower. And it does look like these uh, reasonable temperatures hold on for next weekend in the upper 50s with partly cloudy skies. So a nice Sunday on the way. You can get used to these 50s and 60s. It's nice finally. I after know, this finally. Long it almost winter. feels balmy, even though it's really not that unusual for this time of year, just given to the fact that. You know, last week we were in the 30s and it felt like winter. At least it feels more like spring. Absolutely. All right, Pete, thanks so much. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 10, the Bruins hosting Philly at the Garden. 